All right, so I got a question on the last um, vlog about, you know, someone wanted to know uh, what are some other variations of the thermo bowl that you could do. Um, see, I'm not one of those people that has a problem with eating the same thing every day. I can definitely do it. Uh, but the thing is, look at the thermo bowl as more of a template rather than a strict set of rules, right? It's, uh, it's like in Pirates of the Caribbean where they say, think of it more like guidelines instead of a set of rules. So the, uh, the guidelines associated with the thermo bowl are really simple. I mean, if you look at just the thermo roadmap, it, it kind of shows you what you could do in that to swap out certain things. So I like to use Yukon Gold Potatoes, but you could also use sweet potatoes. And there are a lot of different variations of sweet potatoes and yams you could go for. There's like purple ones, white ones, um, the regular ones, you know, orange, whatever. Or you could use squash. And squash is another good thing to do, especially with beef squash. It's kind of got that sweet slash savory combo when you put the beef in there. Um, so squash is another good one. Then uh, for the meats, I mean, just stick with uh, a good high quality, you know, not treated with antibiotics, not treated with, with hormones and that sort of stuff, uh, good meat, you know, and that could end up being something uh, like chicken, turkey, um, shellfish, uh, also eggs, you know, you could use for that as a substitute there. So it's not rocket science, you know, this is very simple guidelines and you could swap them out, have different flavor combos. You might find different, you know, hot sauces that you like or, or uh, that, like sauces that you could fit in there that still fit in the thermo guidelines. Uh, it's, it's really quite simple. And, uh, or you could steam up some carrots or something like that, add it in there, make, add it to the mix. Um, there's a lot of, of variations that you could do just with these very simple guidelines that'll switch up the flavor palette a bit so you don't get tired of it. All right, just got back from the gym, uh, did a leg day at the gym, and now I'm gonna do my micronutrient meal. And uh, this time I bought a watermelon. So I'm gonna just eat some watermelon and uh, probably have a little bit of a smoothie and a kombucha. Be good to go. All right, guys, so uh, one thing I was kind of thinking about this, of uh, these other variations of the thermo bowl or like the main macro meal that you eat on thermo, and uh, came up with this concept, or we came up with this concept of, of um, tacos. Because tacos are pretty much like one of my favorite things ever. So you actually end up with the thermo bowl or the, the macro meal you make, you know, the big portion of, of the meat and um, you know having the thermal glue especially like the collagen and the sriracha and guac all together tacos is perfect for this because if you can get some good um, tortillas for example there's this company out of Austin called Siete Foods they sell it at pretty much all the Whole Foods so they're not that difficult to find you can also order them online um, but they have this this uh, tortilla that they make uh, with cassava flour, water, coconut flour, coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, and salt. It's pretty, that's thermo. That's, that's all those ingredients are thermo. So um, today, I'm stoked to try it. I'm gonna do the taco meal um, with, and this entire package of tacos, or tortillas is only 500 calories. There's a bunch of them in here. Um, so I think there's like eight tortillas in this thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's eight tortillas in here, 500 calories. That's eight tacos you can make with the same same calories and macros and everything as, for the, as the thermo bowl instead of using potatoes. So I'm stoked to try it. All right, guys, so we got a tortilla. We got a pound of organic uh, grass-fed beef and then uh, some collagen mixed with sriracha and guac. And we're gonna make some Thermo fajitas. Let's drop it in the tortilla. Let's see how this tastes. Well, there we go. That's good. I can eat this every day now. I probably will. I forgot to press record. It's five in the morning. I think it's recording now. I'm going to LA. So this vlog is about to get a lot more interesting. 